on this channel I like to share my DIYs, my builds and tutorials, little tips and tricks so that you can do similar things in your home. And today I have got this old dresser. It is for a client of mine that I'm going to be refinishing and I'm going to show you how to do it. So stay tuned. One, two, three, come on. Let's give you a little look-see of exactly what this dresser looks like. It looks like these sides are unfinished. It's definitely got that classic traditional look. She is a shabby chic farmhouse enthusiast. And so we are going to maintain that look with this dresser. It's just kind of been a little beaten up. It's got some paint peeling. It's not necessarily the color that's going to go with her room. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little uplift, facelift, and we're going to start, if you, you can see that we've got this old, old paint and it is coming up and it is pretty distressed. So I am going to take a little flat trowel, like a little drywall trowel, and I'm going to be scraping that off and giving everything a good sand and cleaning before we go and give it another coat of paint. It does have drawers and let's see what we can do. All right, so I really wanted to show you guys this because if your paint is chipping off and coming off this easily, then you definitely need to sand it before you do any sort of painting over it. Even chalk paint will not work. What you want is a smooth transition, very flat, then you know that your paint is going to adhere. You do not want that chippy look. everything down as you saw and I got rid of all of that chippy paint so now I know I'm gonna get a good adhesion for this chalk paint and the chalk paint that I am going to use it is a rust-oleum chalk brand I got it at Lowe's and I also picked up this brush and then I've also got a little pan because I like to pour my paint out so that I don't get any little floaties or anything in my uh, can of paint for other projects. So at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start painting. two good coats of chalk paint on the dresser. It's looking really good. Now I am going to do a little bit of light distressing by using a sandpaper. I'm going to use a 220 grit sandpaper in my sander and we're gonna go along all of just the edges and kind of rough it up a little bit and see how that looks. to do a light distressing and as you saw I went around all the edges and kind of the rough spots that were already originally in the piece of wood 
And starting there, I sanded down to wood right there and gave everything a nice distressed look. Now that that's done, we are going to put a finish on it. My favorite finish is this Wipe On Poly by Watco. Simply because it's really easy to use, I can wipe it on. Generally, it takes only two coats and then you got this nice hard surface and you won't have to worry about scratches. Um, it's a distressed piece of furniture, so kind of the dings and things are probably going to add to the character. So I may only do one coat on everything and then do two coats on the top surface. So we'll see how it goes, but I definitely recommend this product. Here's a little before and after. I really love how it turned out. It really wasn't too much work. Chalk paint really does a great job at covering. Anyways, if you like this kind of video, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.